So today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to talk about filming because we're in quarantine and we're at stay home mode here in Texas. There's not much for us to really go and do and I'm trying to think of videos that you guys can do um, at home and videos that I can do at home as well. So today I decided to go ahead and talk to you guys about my filming setup and about the camera that I do film on now and how I'm able to get it to, to be set up on a monitor um, that I'm looking at right now. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get the Sony Alpha 6000 camera to link to a monitor. I know for me this was a struggle to find any information on. I searched so many YouTube videos, so many different blogs trying to figure out how to, how to connect this particular camera from Sony to a monitor. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Don't mind the crusty. We're in quarantine, you guys. So I didn't even feel like doing makeup and I felt like this was something I need to get out because I was struggling to figure this out. For you guys who don't know, I did upgrade my camera a couple of months ago and I got the Sony Alpha 6000 camera because it has the best picture quality and really nice video quality as you guys can see because I'm filming on it right now. The downside with this camera, it is very hard to link this camera to a monitor or to video while looking at yourself in a monitor or have it linking, linked to a monitor. So when I got the camera, I just assumed I can buy an, a, an HDMI cord, hook it up to the camera, hook it up to a monitor, but it wasn't that simple. The camera also came with its own cord here that I thought maybe if I just plug it into the monitor through the USB with the small HDMI um, back, I thought it would work and it does not work. It does not allow you to see yourself while you film because the whole purpose was for me to be at my desk with my laptop on the desk and me filming with the ring light and the camera on the tripod and being able to see myself as I film. This was not the case with this camera. This camera did not come with that function. So we had to make it happen. And I'm gonna show you guys how I made it happen. I will be filming on the camera and on my iPhone because as I'm using the camera, I can't really film what I'm trying to show you because I'm using it. So I'm gonna show you currently what it looks like while I'm talking to you guys doing it on my iPhone. So this is what you guys will see. You see the monitor, that's me. As I'm talking to you guys, my ring light, the camera, it's on its own tripod. And then you see these various cords that's like plugged up, linked up. Now, usually I'm over here behind on the chair filming. The ring light is like in this area and I can still see myself on this particular monitor. I am gonna share with you guys where I got the stand from. The monitor, I can share with you guys where I got this monitor from, but where you can find one that's similar. And obviously you guys know where my ring light is from. It's from a different video, but the camera and obviously this little guy right here is the important part. So this is what I see, but you guys can't see. So you guys can see what I can see, and I'm going to show you how I got to that. So let's go ahead and get into this video and I'm gonna show you all the parts of how to link the Alpha 6000, Sony Alpha 6000 camera. So the first thing is the cord that comes with the camera is great for uploading photos onto your laptop or your desktop. You cannot video while that cord is plugged into your computer. It's the craziest thing. I was at Best Buy after I bought the camera. I went back days later and me and another person was going back and forth about trying to link this particular um, camera to my laptop. I even brought my laptop and it wasn't working. Now there is a Sony app. Uh, I have the Play Memories app and I also have the Imaging Ed Edge other app. Now according to some people you should be able to use the Play Memory app. I don't know why it's not working. You should be able to use this 
while you're videoing or to send photos from this camera to your phone it is a crazy process it still doesn't work that well I was able to send a few photos to myself once before but then I can't remember how I did it it's not as easy as everybody made it seem especially with this particular camera now you can use this to video there is a, another app that you can put on your computer which you can also which also allows you to take photos on the camera and it goes directly to the computer instantly but you cannot video and for beauty bloggers or vloggers that is an important step when it comes to making videos you want to be able to see yourself make sure you're in focus make sure everything in the background looks nice and clean and the product that you are showing is always in focus so that's the great thing about having this monitor is that I can see myself while filming i'm going to go ahead and turn off the monitor because i have to show you guys what i'm talking about besides the monitor and the stand you will need a few pieces now if you go on amazon and research hdmi mini adapter you're going to come up with the wrong thing i'm going to show you i've ordered so many hdmi mini adapters thinking that they were the right one the thing is is that the adapter on one side is small but it's not small enough for your camera so the adapter you need to go into the HDMI part on this camera not the multi side but the HDMI side needs to be quite smaller than the one that's offered on Amazon so if you do HDMI mini whatever you're gonna come up with something like this that has two I mean you're gonna come up with something like this it's a lot of cord but then you have this because I tried to find a HDMI mini that also hooks up to the monitor so it came like this with the mini it was just so many different variations of the HDMI cord that it didn't work then I came across someone else's video that was using this particular HDMI cord for a different camera and a different setup and I was trying to figure out how to find an adapter that is the same size as the HDMI on my camera but that also can fit a HDMI mini from my um, actual monitor so this is the HDMI mini that I was actually looking for now this one is also too big to go into the camera so when you go on Amazon you can search HDMI mini this is the one you want and it also has this bigger side as well so this is what it looks like these are the this is the one you want now depending on how long you need it that is your preference um, I can't can't remember how long my cord is but I will try to leave everything down below in the description box but this is the exact one you need for one particular reason this person used an adapter it was a different one than what I'm about to show you that linked their cord to their camera to their monitor and it's the same situation of what I'm about to show you what I did but the adapter they bought I also bought which still was incorrect it was not going to work for this camera so doing more research more research I wound up going to Best Buy and looking around at HDMI cords and I came across this one here it is a Insaga I don't know how you say the brand name six foot low profile mini slash micro HDMI cable this is what it looks like hopefully it will focus for you guys um, and I will also post a picture now the cord part of this that's six feet you absolutely do not need because it's not going to be the right one that actually goes into this particular monitor so I didn't need the cord the only thing I needed was this tiny guy here so this tiny thing which that thing cost about $30 to buy I only needed this one particular piece this piece piece right into my HDMI import into my camera it fits this HDMI mini from Amazon from Amazon then I stick the big HDMI part into the monitor done right yes another thing that I needed was a power strip thing because my power cord to my monitor just wasn't long enough especially if I have to move the ring light so that was something else I had to purchase now so this particular monitor was from a old computer that Greg was able to get from his job and it came with a stand that you can stand on and a keyboard and a mouse 
I didn't need those pieces. All I needed was the actual monitor. I needed to find something that can hold the monitor, but also can move around and switch around and hold onto the shelf without falling or breaking. So this, this monitor, I guess, holder, mount, is also from Amazon. I will link it down below. This mount allows the monitor to be able to turn all the way around, to turn diagonal, to swivel and move any direction I needed to. And this is a universal monitor, but it's particularly meant to go with this particular brand of this monitor, this stand, sorry guys. So I will leave a link down below for where you can purchase this mount from and how much it costs and everything, but this is what I have to show you guys for my videos and I'm gonna show you guys the back. So as you guys can see, it's super easy to attach. It's just these four screws and it goes with this particular monitor because this monitor, you can use this mount for this one. Um, it is not the same brand as the monitor, but it is a compatible brand to go with this monitor here. And to attach the mount, you just twist this on and it kind of links up with the shelf here. So it just kind of, you tighten this up and this guy is in place and it will not go anywhere. It's very stable. All right guys, so I hope this video was helpful. If you have the Sony Alpha 6000 or if you're thinking about purchasing this particular camera, but you don't know how to link it to a monitor, I tried to make it as quick and easy as possible and also explain it that way. Um, even with the kind of chaos, it was just, you mainly need three parts. The monitor, the um, HDMI micro cord from Best Buy, your HDMI mini cord from Amazon, and also if you don't have a mount already, you'll have to obviously uh, purchase that. I will leave all the info down, for, down below in the description box, including a, a monitor that's similar to the one I have. Quality of my mount is still the same quality of whatever the camera shows through. So whatever the camera records, that's the same quality is gonna come through from the monitor. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions down below and I can't wait to check with you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Okay guys, since you guys are already here, don't forget to click and view some of my latest videos and don't forget to click and subscribe. See you guys. Bye.